Out of five hurricane seasons spent living aboard, this is our fourth one in Grenada. We've learned a few things about navigating life here. One, just getting groceries is often an adventure. All right, we got a fun project today. Getting her all charged up and ready to go. I'm gonna show you the very first step of this process with us. And this is a sort of boat-centric aspect of scooter ownership. And that is getting a scooter from up here all the way down there and onto that dinghy over there. It's always a fun chore. And we'll see how well it works with this particular scooter. That's step one. Let's go do it. There are two bigger grocery stores, but they're pretty far from Woburn. Definitely not a good walking distance. You need wheels, bus, taxi, rental car. But there are a couple smaller groceries that are a really long walk, but not so long if you've got a scooter. We try our best to keep up the staples at the smaller stores. Then once in a while, go do a really big trip by a taxi to the big grocery. But this particular grocery I'm headed to has some pretty steep hills, so this is a bit of an experiment. I'm gonna go do this. This is a trek we've not tried before on a scooter of any kind. Uh, I'm gonna go sit by the pool, so I'm, I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Should've drew straws or something. All right, let's go do this. All right, see you in a little bit. Breaking. Hopefully very little. One-handed scooter riding, always an adventure. Better than walking, though. And I gotta remember to drive on the left again. Grenade is a left side driving, left side driving country. All right, that's all the hills. All right, well, I got there. And by there, I mean to the top of the hills. Now, I still got a little ways to go down this main road, which is down a hill, which means we gotta come back up that hill. <laughs> Let's finish up this trek, get some groceries and head back. Pack of groceries. Now, this part's gonna be interesting because this was a much longer hill than I remember. Not as steep, so we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know when I get back. I'm gonna go uh, put some groceries away and drink one of the beers in this bag. It's running day! Running day. It's bright. It's early. It's 85 degrees. Guess who else is going? Come on, Revs! Let's go! He's, he's <laughs> really, really pumped about this. Alright, let's go. We got 15 minutes. Zeke and I are going to drink coffee and read a book. <laughs> 
two, getting involved in local, normal life type things really helps you feel like you belong in the neighborhood. Like Rivers playing soccer with the local team and Lauren and Rivers running 5Ks. We didn't uh, waste a lot of time. Minutes to go. Five minutes ago, or three minutes ago. Oh, we got like two minutes. Two minutes? I'm gonna go up front so I can watch you guys come across the starting line. Yeah. Is that cool? All right. Hey, high five. Have fun. You're just running. High five. He's gonna sprint all the way to the front and drive her nuts. That's all right, he'll figure it out. All right, we're gonna go sit down and uh, read the book. The first two guys just came by like two, three minutes ago. It's been so soon since the race started that it took me complete by, by, by surprise. I got no video. It's been like, I would have said 15 minutes, the lady here doing the uh, the, the flagging to, to show them where to go in. Said it was 20. 20 minutes for a 5K. Crazy. And they were just like, they were running faster than I can run full speed. Yikes. Right, we still got a little while before Lauren and River show up, but I'm, I'm on the ready now. Number 79 and 78. Make it do it. Ooh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice. You did a 5K. Good job. Go get some drinks. Lauren and Rivers. Slow and steady as we go. pretty much down to the bare basics in our pantry. And so tonight I'm making a chicken Mexican casserole with basically all pantry staples, all cans, and one bag of Dorito type chips that we have now. So this is what we make when <laughs> I can't make any other food. Three, find some good dinner recipes that require almost only pantry items, stuff you can keep around for a long, long time. This recipe is meant to use regular tortilla chips. But guess what was three times cheaper? These nacho cheese Dorito things. Cheese. 
Cheese we can always find and we always keep a lot on hand. So really the tortilla chips were the only part we didn't already have. Way to work some Doritos into our dinner. With the cans, um, it's like the most processed meal we could ever have. <laughs> oh, you know that's not true. <laughs> Unless you're eating Doritos straight for dinner. I, don't know. <laughs> I know I'm finishing up the bag for you. Yeah. All right, a little Doritos, a little rum on ice, Good and day. a freshly strung guitar. Call me when dinner's ready. In 25 minutes, will you set the alarm for 25? Yeah. Old school. Give it a couple extra. The result. Spill it everywhere. Yeah. Well, hello. 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 Yeah. So orange. It's very orange. Not used to that. We uh we prepare our meals by color. Tonight's orange night. Orange night. I have Doritos. It's Doritos. Doritos. Kind of. In your food, which means it's gonna be Not delicious. Really which Cholula would you like tonight? That one. <laughs> I would like none. Okay. What's also in here? Yeah. Oh, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's totally making it in the video. <laughs> well, here we are in Woburn. Still, looks like it's gonna rain. So what better time to leave than right now? <laughs> We've been uh, fighting with not having a lot of options for food. There's a little grocery store here and there's a couple little grocery stores, but they seem to be out. Um, so kind of the basics that we we use and so we've been dealing with that for about a month now and so we've decided we should get over to prickly prickly has more options but we're gonna go there today that's the big plan and of course we didn't go yesterday because there was no wind but today it looks like maybe there's gonna be too much just a little weather yeah it's like hotter than hell right here and over there it's We saved all the fish that rode up on our like bridle. <laughs> yeah, I know. This thing needs serious scrubbing. It's like an hour or so. I can only get down so far because my my ears wouldn't pressurize. So I got down about that far and my head felt like it was going to split open. But it only goes for a little ways. It's like uh, something out of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Alright, I'm going to get back and drive. On our merry way. We'll see you very shortly, Wilburn. Don't worry. I know you'll miss us so much. Short passage today. Just a couple little days over. Might be all motor. Unless this storm picks up behind us. Probably will. Needed to change the pace. Wilburn's awesome, you know. The fair blue is so great for the kids, but after a while, we just need a little something different. And it's a lot easier to get to the groceries from Prickly Bay. Uh, even if we take like the bus and then take a cab back or whatever, that's just a better spot. It's a lot closer. And yeah, there's a lot of cool things there. The brewery and the container park, food mostly. Uh, Budget Marine, definitely could use some things there. A hardware store, it's kind of a must stop every time we're down here. Ooh, just get a little bit of wind, that'd be super cool. Kind of 
Alavini Island, private island of the rich and famous. We are not invited. This is the length of sail where the question is, will we finish the sail before you finish the grilled cheese that you made when we started the sail? If yes, then barely. We've already had a little bit of drama. Starboard motor, we had issues with our gauges on the last sale, and I have not figured out the source of the problem yet. I think when I was messing around with uh, all the electrical connections, I cleaned up everything down there, and I was trying to clean up the ones here at the switchboard as well, at the gauges and the ignition, because we were having trouble getting anything down there. Got it running, it was all just corroded connections down below. But in doing so, I lost the tack and the oil pressure. Temperature was already giving us problems. And I've not figured out what the problem is yet. I think somehow the feed, the power feed to the uh, display panel is just not feeding it power. So that's something we've got to work on, but it's kind of a pain. Even though we're going a short distance, I can't tell what our RPM is. <laughs> I think maybe I was running it real high. I thought by ear I was about right. But as I always do, I continually check to look at the water coming out of the side. And I went over and looked, and it was dark. There was a lot of dark exhaust coming out in the water. Enough that it kind of freaked me out. I, I throttled back a little bit. We got our handy dandy infrared thermometer out. Batteries were dead, of course, so Lauren found batteries for it. Finally got, got out down there and was able to check the temperature, and it's running super cool. It's like 170 degrees. So it's not overheating or anything. I, I think maybe I was just pushing the RPMs harder than it's been pushed in a long time, and there's probably burning off some deposits that have not been budged in quite a while. That's what I'm hoping. It seems like it's running fine. It sounds good. You know, we're I, I throttled way back, and we're still doing five knots. We got a little bit of wind behind us, but not much. Got the sails out just for posterity. And by sails, I mean the sail. We're going right there. That's our bay. So yeah, pretty short passage. We usually try to do this when we can, you know, fire it up, uh, just pull out the head sail alone and just sail there because it's kind of fun. Usually we have enough wind to do that, but did not work out today. But we're getting a little help. It's better than nothing. another no drama passage so literally just kind of feel like we were in a car and drove over here it was short like an hour and a half and there's no wind and we got the sails up and basically as soon as we got the sail out then we put it away <laughs> so that's the way you want them would have been nice to have a little wind now we're here in prickly and it's a little too early for a passage drink. I know that feels like sacrilegious, but so we'll, we'll water cheers it and maybe we'll have one later tonight. But it's still hot, uh, so I think maybe we'll go to the beach.